welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be setting up a new journal i don't think i had a video for this journal setup because i was in school and i ended up taking a break from youtube but this was journal number 13 and it looks like i'm going to be finishing it today i just have to fill out a couple more pages and then it will be finished and so I'll have a flip through up of this sometime soon. But for now, we're going to set up my next journal so it will be ready for me to use it. I'm very excited by the journal I'm using. It is a Claire Fontaine, which I've heard people rave about this brand. I worked at a paper store called Paper Source and someone came in looking specifically for Claire Fontaine notebooks and they said that's the only paper they use because they love it so much. So since that experience, I've wanted to try them out because it just made me curious. And I found this in a stationery shop in Baltimore called The Paper Herald. And I'm very excited by this journal. I love the color. I don't like a lot of the covers of the Claire Fontaine, but I love this one and I think it's so pretty it has this kind of crisscross pattern grid almost to it and it's just lined and it is 96 pages 48 sheets of paper so it shouldn't be too miserable to get through because some journals are so many pages that it's hard to get through but this doesn't seem too bad let's open this up I am so excited so pretty It looks like almost like a composition book on the inside and supposedly the page quality is really nice. So I'm going to decorate the outside to begin with and then we'll set up the first page, the title page. If you've seen these videos that I do before, that's like the typical setup. I'm probably going to have this journal throughout fall. So I was thinking of maybe adding like this pumpkin because now would be the time to add this now would be the time to use this sticker if I'm going to. Um, but I'll, I pulled out a bunch of different stickers that I want to consider using. I really like this sneak. And I'm thinking of doing like the, an evil eye theme with this blue. Because I have this from a museum. And this is just from a store. It's called Felice Modern Pop. Um, so I could do like a little theme almost. I also love this bagels one. Oh, and this ghost. This one is like a good subtle Halloween one. So honestly, these are both kind of good subtle Halloween ones. And I don't want to put too many stickers on this one because I kind of want to keep some of the cover and I might write journal number whatever it is i think it's 14 so i might put that on the cover and it would also be really cute with my washi tape to have a strip here under the title i like that this is my washi tape by the way it's on my etsy at star stationery supply um this is the fav my favorite one that i made it's a star pattern i could put that on the cover somewhere but also it might peel off because washi tape kind of peels off unless i put a clear unless I cover it the top in clear tape but I don't think it'll peel too badly I could even just do only the blue ones and keep it really simple but I love this ghost I feel like I need to keep these diagonal from each other this one in the corner here I also have this fun cat that would be a great halloween theme i think it's a cat it's something that's pretty cute i kind of like that i definitely want to put this one here so i'm gonna put this one down oh wow that looks really nice it's actually a clear sticker which I think looks really good. And then I think I'm going to put these two down. I'll reconsider the cat. Hmm. 
Um, the question is, do we do the cat? I really want to use the sticker. And I think this would just be the perfect journal. It kind of ties in here. So I think I'm just going to do it. Okay, I think this cover looks cute. I'm going to put these other stickers away. Now this is nerve wracking, but I'm going to be writing directly on the cover. I'm using a Pilot fountain pen and it has some Ferris wheel press ink in it in it's like the blue denim one. And then let me check to make sure this is number 14. Yeah. And that's kind of a lucky number for me because my birthday is on the 14th, so. I should have put volume number 14, but I'm, I'm just going with it. I have to accept what I've done. Now I'm going to test with the washi tape, maybe. I think that would be cute. That's with the washi tape. I think the washi tape added a lot. I think it looks nice. So that's the cover. Now let's decorate the inside. Um, I think I'm going to use this paper. I printed this paper off from a printable that I got on Etsy. It was a bonus print on the printable. But it's by Johanna Clough on YouTube. I think her Etsy is Johanna Alyssa. Oh, and then I cut out some other printables by her. These ones are by Cat Collage Club and Pocket Journal Pam. But then I have these ones, which you can find on Johanna's Etsy. They're really cute. These you can turn into little pockets. And then I also have some where they're just like little spots to write so I think one of these would be really cute oh I think this orange one maybe or the blue one okay I'm gonna pull some out and see if they look with the cover because I want it to be like somewhat cohesive it doesn't really have to match that much Then the blue kind of matches, so I might do this one. Honestly, it fits the page, so I could cover this whole page. That would be really cute. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. My glue stick is running out of glue, so hopefully we have enough to get through this. Okay, I need a new glue stick. Got a fresh glue stick. And it's purple. Fold it over and it's going to be the start of this new page. Okay. 
And then I just need to curve the edges. It's not perfect, but it will work. So yeah, all of these printables are by Johanna. Um, I got a few different ones. I don't know if these really go together, but I want to find a way to bring in the cover and I love mismatching things anyway. And then I'm considering putting this little kind of page tab over here. I don't know how random that will be, but I think it'll be cute. And then, ooh, maybe I could add a little pocket. So one of the printables I got were little pockets, and I think that could be really cute on this page. I'm going to try a few. Looks like this blue will match. I don't know if I can get it to go the right way. So I'll match. That one could be cute. I guess this one is supposed to go up, but I want it down. So would that look too weird if I do that? I think I'm gonna do it anyway. So for the pocket, I'm just going to use glue tape around the sides. First, let's glue this down. So this will just create a little pocket at the front in case I need to hold any ephemera before I can journal or if I just want to store anything here. So now we've got a little pocket. So as you can see, it just fits right under. So here's where I put the start and end date and the journal number. I'm gonna do it in the same fountain pen and ink that I was using, but this time I'm gonna write volume instead of journal. Volume number 14. And then a little start and end date. I love how this is looking. I think it's so cute. And I love how this paper is folded over here. Maybe I could put some acrylic down here. Some acrylic dots or something. Or even I wonder if my watercolor will work. So I'm just going to go in with some watercolor. Pulling out a little bigger of a brush than I normally use. Um, and I'm going right into my blue. So we'll see if this stays. So I'm just going to let that dry. And I'll be back when that is dried. Okay, I am back. I think it's dried for the most part. And I have considered a couple more embellishments maybe this cat from cat collage club it's just sitting in a window and then we also have this one from pocket journal pam which i could put on the pocket i'm wondering if i want to put anything else on this page or if i just want to keep it plain i could also put it on this page over here i just think it matches so well with the blue so i might put that on the other page and then put this one right here but I'm just gonna place this guy over here okay and then I think that's about it for the setup. It's like one of them was not dry. This one's still a little wet. Um, so I'm not gonna close this quite yet, but I'll peek at the outside to show you. This is what the outside looks like. 
And then we've got the inside and we did a little bit of the first page. But that is it for this journal setup. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of these types of videos and what kind of videos you want to see from me. And I'll see you in my next one.